Hey, Shannon. Hey, John. How are you both doing today? Doing good. Great. Good to meet you, man. Thanks for making time for us. Yeah. Well, thank you for joining us on the Geek Centric Podcast. Uh, I have to say, this is my first introduction to Ultraman. And, uh, you know, I've I've known who the character is. And I I was definitely surprised by this movie and the the very family-oriented story uh, that this this film has. So I, I wanted to know, maybe starting right there, you know, what was the inspiration behind infusing such a family-centric story in this iteration of Ultraman. So family is really important to me. My mom comes from a family of of seven kids, and so I had, uh, my cousins were my best friends growing up. Uh, but this didn't initially start as an Ultraman film. While I was a fan of Ultraman, I knew it couldn't get the right. So back in 2001, when I first uh, developed the idea, uh, I wanted to take a character like that and, and make a story that connected to as many people as possible. And... I thought, well, let's take a character like that and give them him their heroic task of becoming a parent, which is a really challenging job to have. Uh, yeah. And how do you juggle those things? And how do you, like, if you don't want to be a hero and you don't want to be a parent, how do you take those things on? And that, to me, felt like something that would connect to a broader audience, whether they'd seen Ultraman or not. I didn't want there mm-hmm. to be any kind of barrier or entry that you needed to have watched a bunch of episodes of Ultraman. I just wanted you to, to enjoy a good story. Yeah, and I thoroughly enjoyed it. As a personal note, I, I am a new father, so there's so much of this that I Congrats. relate to. Thank you. Uh, she's 18 months, so you know. But still, I'm in the throes of it, just like. Oh, I you was. got a couple more years of being <laughs> yeah. in the throes of it, man. <laughs> yeah, yeah, for sure. But I, I could, I, I, I found myself relating to this message like wholeheartedly, and especially the idea of, you know, as much as we think as adults that we can teach kids, the kids are teaching us. Yeah. so much yeah. about ourselves yeah. every day. And I thought that was so great to infuse into this this sort of bigger than life, heroic story. It was just such a, again, as you mentioned, very relatable layer. Um, and, and talking about layers and talking about this idea of, of telling the story through the medium of animation, which here at Geek Centric, we're, we're massive fans of animation. And there's just so many great stories that are being told in the medium as as we speak. All these different stories have such distinct styles and, and sort of aesthetics. What were some of the creative decisions that you you both with the team made to kind of give this film its own unique style? Yeah, uh, I'll, I'll start with just, you know, starting with our love for the Japanese pop culture of anime and manga um, yeah. and, and even Japanese cinema, right? And, and yes. so taking all those elements and working with our production designer, Marcos Mateo, and uh, our art director, uh, Sun Min In, and really finding that language, this visual language, and, and working with the amazing uh, team of, at, up at ILM. Uh, right. And really having them knock it out of the park. Yeah, it, and no pun intended, given the fact that baseball uh, is is yeah, very integral yeah, here. Yeah, uh, yeah. But maybe it was intended. I'm not sure. Uh, <laughs> you know, the the one thing I really love too about the visual style is is just the eyes, the way the eyes look. They're they're very there's that like a painterly brush stroke mm-hmm. to the way the eyes really yeah. speak to 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 me at least and and how I I connected with it. But you see a lot of the visual style really top tier in some of the great moments, uh, some of the power-ups and some of those yeah. moments that you see you were talking about in, in regards to the, the film. Now, another great part of this story is this message about balance. And, and I thought that was really relevant too, especially in, in, in relation to our, our hero, Ultraman. I wanted to know for, for both of you, um, what, what do you do in your day-to-day to find balance? Well, it's, it's, well, one of the things that I started to do, because I, I love working, I love writing, and when my daughter was born, I found myself getting up earlier and earlier so that I could have time on my own, but also still give her time. So now I, I get up at five o'clock in the morning. I write wow. until seven. She gets up. She's 13 now. We hang out together. I make breakfast. And then she goes to school. But when she was little, uh, you know, we would still hang out. And finding that balance was how can I still do the thing that I love uh, in my career? And how can I do the things that I love as a parent? Right. Absolutely. Yeah, oh, absolutely. Yeah. Work and life balance, you know, yeah. and, and making sure because I, I tend to be a workaholic watching my mom be a workaholic and my family. So uh, I had to really think about slowing down and taking every day, every moment and living life uh, to its fullest. Well, Shannon, John, thank you so much again for joining us in, on the Geek Centric podcast. Again, I didn't have crying on my bingo card when watching this movie, but this movie definitely made me cry. And it had a lot to do with just where I'm at in my journey as being a father. So thank you so much. Well, thank you for watching. And that that means a lot. Thanks so much. Bye. Awesome. Have a good one, guys. You too. Bye. Bye.